This is Luca Comai for BIS 101 with the second part of CRISPR biochemistry. In the first video of three, we learned how Cas9 and guide RNA work in a complex to make a double-stranded DNA cut in a target of choice. In this second video, we will learn how different types of DNA repair result in useful outcomes. In the third video, we discuss specialized modification of Cas9 and their uses. At the end of video one, I explained that there are three possible outcomes from a double-stranded DNA cut. First, no repair and cellular damage results. Second, non-homologous end joining called NHEJ, which results in indel mutations. Third, homology-directed repair, HDR, depending on repair template, can result in perfect repair or in precise insertion of new DNA. Let's consider NHEJ. It is an error-prone repair, similar to when we try to repair a broken ceramic cap. It is possible to glue the pieces in a nearly perfect way, but more often than not, the joint is pretty ugly. In non-homologous end joining, re repair often results in indels, insertion or loss of DNA. In this case, the joint has an extra base. A deletion may span one to many bases. In the case shown here, about three. It is interesting to consider what happens when the joint is precise and it restores the original target site. The site can be cut again by CRISPR-Cas9 and this happens until inaccurate repair occurs and the resulting site is no longer recognized because the guide RNA pairing forms too many mismatched Bases. The final outcome is an indel. Consider the effect of non homologous end joining on a gene. A double stranded DNA cut inside the gene is repaired, leading to indel mutation. In this case, a four base pair deletion will cause a frame shift mutation and inactivate the gene. NHEJ is the most common repair of CRISPR-Cas9 double-stranded DNA cuts. Targeting a gene with CRISPR-Cas9 is now a standard way to inactivate it, knock it out. The procedure is relatively easy and works in bacteria, fungi, plants and animals. HDR is precise but needs a homologous repair template. If the homologous DNA is identical, the broken DNA is restored to its original state. A segment of the template has been copied to the broken DNA molecule. What if the template contains a segment of different DNA? To understand what happens and its outcome, let's review homologous recombination. We're going to use a different color for DNA. The blue DNA has a double-stranded DNA break. The green DNA can provide a homologous repair template but it has a region of different sequence, shown in ochre. Note the DNA polarity. HDR starts with the resection of the 5' strands to expose single-stranded 3' ends. With the help of specialized recombination proteins, the 3' end starts an homology search and finds the homologous repair template. It melts the double-stranded DNA template, forming a displacement loop. The 3' end strand base pairs with a complementary strand starting DNA synthesis. As the D loop expands, the displaced green strand anneals to the other blue 3' strand. The DNA synthesis proceeds at the two sides and eventually the elongating strands copy the different DNA, the ochre colored one. Next, the ends are joined, forming a double holiday junction, which is resolved by cutting and ligation. HDR has been completed. Compare the end products to the start. Note that the ochre region has been neatly copied into the blue DNA. Therefore, CRISPR can be used to introduce new sequence information. To 
understand the practical implication of CRISPR-based genome editing, let's consider the following example. We want to fix a mutated gene. We provide a homologous template. We induce a double-stranded DNA cut with CRISPR-Cas9. Homologous recombination takes place. The defected gene is patched and restored to full function. Let's recapitulate what we learned. Genome editing entails the use of two or sometimes three components. One, the Cas protein. Two, the guide RNA, a variable component. Three, optional, template DNA to repair the cat site. The great advantage of CRISPR, simple biochemistry. Only the 20 bases in the guide RNA need to be changed for each target. It is easy and practical for any laboratory. Finally, what is the outcome of genome editing? Let's recapitulate. First, the target is typically a gene of interest and we are interested in the effect of modifying it. Second, if repair is by non-homologous end joining, the target gene is knocked out. Third, if repair involves HDR, depending on target and template, a mutated gene can be fixed, a specific codon can be changed, new DNA from few to several kilobases can be inserted, or a precise deletion can be made. This concludes the second part of CRISPR biochemistry. Make sure to look at the third part.